Okay, so good evening, everybody. Uh, I am doing uh, this very quick tutorial to show you my new work process on how to convert um, models over to head and body morphs in Dust 3D. Okay, so previously, right, the, the work process that I use is actually to convert the head and then the body separately. But then I learned of a new method uh, that, that can um, use them together so if you've been looking at the live stream uh, my live stream for the last few models that's the process that i'm using so now i'm doing a, a explanation on what exactly i am uh, doing when i'm using that process right so uh, the reason why this model this tutorial took so long to come out is because the last few models that i'm doing are actually um private models so because of that I am not able to show the, the model in a live stream, right? So, uh, and my next few seems to be the, will also be the same doing, uh, doing, uh, private models. Most quite, there's a number of them. So because of this, I am doing an additional add on, um, model. Okay, so this is Yennefer from the Witcher 3. I actually have a quite a number of requests. So I thought I will fulfill the requests here uh, at the same time as doing this tutorial. Right, so what you're seeing down here, this is the original form of the, the model. And uh, the first thing you want to do is to actually fit, fit the model to the Genesis uh, 8 figure so preferably if you can use the given bones uh, to do that that'll be the best right and then um, just make sure that your model is uh, is fitted to roughly the the position of the Genesis 8 model so uh, in this particular case uh, there are some things that I cannot do mainly if you look at the elbow here, there's this very weird dip. I have no idea how to solve this. Originally, this model is a SFM model. So they have some really, really weird posing that I have no idea how to use. So uh, because of that, maybe something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. So because of that, right, my plan is actually to replace the entire arm with the Genesis 8 uh, female model. Okay, so after you got the, the model roughly where you want it, uh, select the head only and the body. So all the eyes, ears, uh, teeth, tongue, whatever, all don't, don't select and then save this as a obj file okay so save as an obj file then uh, open up the rep tree and what i'm doing down here is basically i will show you how my node setup is now so it's a little bit more complicated than previously but that is mainly because of the texturing where you need to texture the the transfer the textures of the body which is this part down here right and the head which is this part down here so i'm basically combining my previous uh texture setup all of them here so the body here and the head here okay so uh notes wise right is they are actually still quite the same so what's happening is you have the female genesis female model here right and then you select the polygon and you select the head and the body so this is the selection so all the inner parts the eyes the teeth whatever all is taken out just the head and the body okay so then this is my um uh, body setup so the texture is the body texture it is best if you have a if the model only uses one texture for the entire body that is the the best scenario okay then this is the model uh no oh, actually i should put the face first okay so this one is the face texture so i will put in the face texture Okay, so the reason for that, for putting in the first part for the face texture is uh, so that I can see what I'm doing down here. 
Okay, so this is the face texture. Afterwards, I will switch this to the body texture so that I can see what I'm doing with the body texture. Okay, so uh, with the face, you do the same thing. Now, instead of points, uh, just the points of the, the face or the body, you put in all the points for both the face and the body. Okay, so... something like that make sure that uh, when you are fitting the points make sure that the points are matching with your donors border okay so seven Okay, so this particular model, the ears are pretty screwed up. I have no idea why they are so screwed up. Uh, so I am going to roughly rough in the ears. I'm fairly sure, I think I will actually replace the ears as well. Because I don't think I can use much of the ears with, with it being this messed up. Okay, so whoever did the porting for this particular model, uh, need to get spanked basically okay so hopefully this this will translate properly i am honestly not sure whether it will uh, so now i go back change to the body model okay and then come back here and now this is the loaded the body model parts okay so the face points are fairly clear enough are fairly simple so they're all the extremities same with the body you'll be looking for all the protruding extremity extremity uh, parts okay uh where they are, where the textures makes it easy for you to actually uh put in the points so i almost did make a mistake okay so this point 34 uh in fact point 24 is the hands so i should start with the hands first okay so Okay, so even though I'm planning to replace the arms, the reason why I'm putting all the points still is for the sake of the textures. So the textures will still be, uh, you will still be able to transfer the textures over because the textures need all these points in order to know like where is the, the transfer point. So you need all these uh, points no matter what you're planning to do with the, with the mesh itself, right? So. So I'm just laying down all the points. Okay, then same thing. We will just let the wrap run.
Okay, so if you've done our job right, uh, it should be a fairly simple and straightforward process. So now they are doing all the texture transferring. Projection, texture projection. Okay, so that is done. Okay, so now you have a, a fairly tight uh, wrap tree. Okay, so next, what you want to do is to come down here and uh, you will see that normally what I do is I replace the hands and I replace the feet. And the reason for that, right, is because the hands, uh, if, you, if you have like this kind of hands, the hand poses in dust will not work very well. So I've actually tested this with um, Overwatch model, which also has a similar hand structure. It never worked, worked, worked out well. Okay, so because of this, we normally I will replace the hands and the feet. The, the, the feet, um, sometimes you have some really weird feet uh, because they are usually hidden by the shoes so you don't see them, right? Um, so now I am going to replace the hands as well. Uh, so let me put in the arms. Uh, okay, so maybe uh, poly the poly group instead. So I will go with the where is it shoulder. And forearm. Okay, so this two. So right shoulder and right forearm. Okay, so so now the arms part uh, look normal. This is the arms how it looks like now compared to this really weird uh, bulge down here. Which I'm fairly sure I can. Uh, hmm, nah, I think it's easier to to just replace the entire arm, and then I will do a bit of shaping to get this muscle group here. Okay, so. Save out the mesh. This is this will be your texture. Okay, so if you if you notice right, you have the neck and the head is uh, really weird because this is the part. This is part of the head texture. Okay, so you will save the torso and the legs which is this, the legs and the arms. I think I, okay, so legs and arms. So now we have the face here, which is a universe face which actually looks very weird. Uh, yeah, the messed up years, the, the years are messed up the, the, the head a little bit. I might actually have to to find another head to um, use for this particular model. Okay, so uh, let me load in another another Yennefer. Maybe the default Yennefer. 
I think I get a better hit with this. Okay, so what I was attempting to do just now is to roughly get the head to fit the body uh, but it seems like that is about the best I can do so I will leave it like that Okay, I might need to do a bit of clean up down here later so okay, this is, these are proper years as you can see so I'll have to redo uh, the entire wrap again okay so reload the body and reload the body and yep the face points are all over the place Okay, so I have to clear this out and redo this part here. So let me put in the face.
Okay, so now we will run the wrapping process. And we should get some better textures out of this particular one because the ears are not messed up. I don't even need to replace the ears, I think. Okay, so it seems like it's working fairly well. So I'm gonna save the body. Then, oh, just just before I forget, uh, just to let you know, the texture for dust, right? They actually have this on uh, UV. So UV zero is the face. UV one is the body, the torso. UV two is the legs, and UV three is the arms. Okay, so UV4, if I'm not wrong, is the eyes. Uh, UV5 is the teeth, and so on and so forth. So those you don't actually need. Uh, this is the reason why I only have UV1 to 3. See, so I'll save the torso and the legs and the arms. Okay, then I'll save the face, which is this yeah, now it looks much better okay so this is the face and the neck so this texture this texture you will only want the neck and the back of the head this part you will be discarding and are blending in into the other colors okay so this is the neck and what I have here is I have a aspirate image and I have one that is not aspirated. Okay, so the reason for that, right, is because I want to select this part down here and then blend it in properly, which if you look at the, my live stream, you know how exactly I do that. It's the, the steps are all the same. Okay, so with that done, I will load in the, um, the model. Okay, so keep the text order. Uh, if I didn't remember wrongly, let me see what did I put here. So just the arms and the legs. Okay, so that seems to be that seems to be the correct one. Okay, so now we have a really really weird mess. Okay, so let me just shrink this thing down and. And you will see a monster, basically. Okay, so what's going on down here, right, is that because the the face has actually shrunk in, so the eyes and the teeth, because they are not selected, uh, they are not selected here. They are excluded from the parts that is being wrapped because they cannot be. Uh, wrap only allows one mesh in the donors. 
So if you have more, more than one mesh, which in this case, like for example, the mouth, every single teeth is a different model, a, a different mesh. So because of this, um, it cannot be used. They, they, will, they will not move. So how you deal with this, right, is you select by texture the teeth. So you go to edit mode and then select the teeth and the mouth. Okay. Then you... Uh, hold on, screen cap, screencast. Okay, so then you press the minus key one time, num, num lock minus key, right? And the reason for that, right, is because if not, when you move, move the, oops, sorry, when you move the mouse back, this part will be selected as well, and then uh, it will not work properly. So what you want, right, is uh, roughly here, where this part of the mouth will flow upwards in a ref relatively uh, clean arc. Okay, so this this part here. Then normally what I'll do is I'll select this ring and smooth it out uh, uh, once or twice. Okay, so then as per normal, I will do a subdivide so that I can see like uh, how you look like in if you put it in dust okay so this is the mouth it is relatively straightforward and then the eyes so what I normally like to do is that I'll put I'll mirror the X symmetry sometimes this doesn't work sometimes it works I have no idea what is the controlling point but in this case it works so uh, just by moving one eye you can move both eyes Okay, so with this, we will put the eyes back into the socket. Okay, so something like this. Going back a little bit. Okay, so it seems like her eyes, uh, her, her head is not symmetrical. So one part is actually uh, not symmetrical in the uh, Jennifer's head. So you need to move the eyes separately. So you remove the X down here and move the eyes in a little bit separately. And there we go. Okay, next is the nipples. Okay, so for dust, right, they actually have their own nipples morph. So uh, you will normally, if you see any of the nipples uh, in the mesh, you will want to smoothen them out. So smooth the vertices and smooth them out uh, relatively smooth. Okay, so something like that. Next is the navel. Or oh, in this case, the navel is actually fairly well uh, positioned already. There are some uh, models where the if the navel is actually much higher or much lower, or if the entire torso is shorter than normal, the navel might sometimes end up somewhere down here. In which case, you have to adjust all the layers so that the navel is actually aligned properly. Okay, so just go through the mesh again, make sure that most of the, everything is where they're supposed to be, the arms and all that. Okay, so now I want to, okay, so now we have the, a little bit of the arms down here. So, I'll just do a little bit of a, movement let it fit in a little bit better the biceps with a bit more definition of course following the base model
Okay, so very very roughly it's like that. Uh, it will not be symmetrical, just so you know. And the reason for that is I, I don't dare to turn on symmetrical because just now you notice the face is not symmetrical. So if you turn on symmetrical, they will actually align everything here. Uh, and I'll just show you. So if I turn on symmetrical, then they'll pump. They'll align everything and you'll see this part down here. So that's the reason why I do not dare to turn on symmetrical. So I'm doing this uh, more or less blindly. Okay, so if you don't want to, you can just leave it alone. That's perfectly fine as well. That's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. So now we have the base model, the, the face, uh, the, sorry, the, the entire figure model for Jennifer. So you export this to the appropriate uh, folder. So in my case, I'll have a richer folder, which is here. And Jennifer and Jennifer Fu more. Okay, so now we will go to. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Uh, make sure that the viewport is zero. Okay, the, your subdivide is zero and save it. Okay, so now we go to the dust to finish up this character. Then uh, I will I will stop the tutorial and convert the clothing and then this conf this character is done so clothing wise i actually done it a number of times already so i will not be going over uh, the different part down here is that you actually have uh, this is something that i only noticed recently that there is actually a developer's kit uh, inside the genesis 8 so this is the normal figure that they have this tree I actually did uh, another one. This is a customized one that I did for myself. And uh, the difference between these two, right, is basically this one has its, its um, subdivision taken away. So this is the base subdivision. And the reason why you want to do that, right, is because you will be exporting the model out of dust. So you do, you will want to have the subdivide taken out. Excuse me. So you want to have the subdivide taken out and uh, if you if you just leave this alone then you need to do it manually all the time so that's why i actually just do a preset okay so this is the part that uh, is is taken out so the resolution is at base subdivide and render subdivide is zero zero okay so this will ensure that when you export the model you won't run into any problems okay so now what i'm doing is i'm going to put in a morph pro uh, open up the morph loader pro and load in Jennifer full body this is just to ensure that the morph is working properly which uh, it is okay then you come back here you see that there's a genesis 8 female head split deformer okay so what this does right is that this actually put in a deformer uh, node Okay, so with this, you can actually do some interesting things that I only recently learned. So if you load back in the morph, okay, then attenuate by, you can select the deformer influence weight. Okay, and this is the strength and uh, click accept. And only the head is uh, affected by the, by the morph, the body is not. So now you can save this out, export, and the Witcher and save this as a head morph okay so save and then you do the same thing again uh, full body morph attenuate by weight map D force influence map and then in the strength you put in minus one so minus one and accept and it will actually reverse the process. So now you have the body and the head is not touched, right? So save this as a export as a body, body morph. And the reason why you do this, uh, actually there, there really isn't uh, much of a reason. 
but if you say for example if you want to have Yennefer's um, face and the body you don't want them to, to, to touch at all if you want to, to dial in your own morph then this the you need to have a separate body morph so this is the reason why I split it up like that right so after this uh, you can do a new you don't need this model anymore what you want is the normal Genesis 8 female model okay half an hour I should be able to finish this uh, fairly quickly so what you want is the Genesis 8 basic female model this is your normal Genesis 8 model uh, with all the bells and whistles attached to it and the reason why you want this right is because this will be your actual model okay so it's not no longer the developer's model you will want to have this particular model to uh, base your work on okay so now you have this uh, female model then morphs body and head up, open up okay and if, if all things goes correctly you should have the model uh, the morphs Jennifer's body and Jennifer's head so you can just test it okay so they are both there okay so now I will do a save uh, sorry I will do a rigging I just rigging to shape okay so the reason for that right is because if you notice down here the arms are actually out of place already so if you do not do a adjust rigging then all your your morphs uh, your poses will go haywire let's like say for example if I do a hand pose and I want to do a fist and you will see you have a uh, ribbon hands the hands are uh, abominably long because the the moths are all over the place okay so what you do is uh, go to edit rigging adjust rigging to shape and then do the same as my previous tutorial that is to say um, uncheck the head so you only want the body moths okay so rig so now you have this and if you do the fist it works properly Okay, so this is the reason for that then you want to save this uh, you go to edit mode and you want to ERC freeze this one and after, when you ERC freeze you just scroll down to make sure that there is no head or any other um, morphs that's involved just purely the body on okay so accept and you do an ERC freeze then zero out this model and put in the head mom morphs and do the same except that uh, in the reverse order so now you want to uncheck everything and only check the head so check selected insurance so only check the head okay and then the head will fit and you do the same erc freeze make sure that there's no body morph here and no other morph that is uh, not supposed to be here okay and then you click accept after which uh, you can dial in both and this is your full figure okay so then normally what I'll do next is uh, go out edit mode and I will change the parameters so in this case you want to change it to to the path that you are going to take the final part the, the final um, morph with so say for example in this case I go to the Witcher and I will key in Jennifer okay then copy this entire path because you're going to do it one more, one more time minimum is zero okay so now Jennifer's head do the same thing just paste and zero accept okay so you go to currently use these are the two morphs that is involved and uh, with this your, you have your full body morph uh, divided by the head and the body right then next will be your textures you fit in your textures then you fit the clothing and blah 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 and you get your entire figure uh, converted okay so this is the uh, uh, easy, easier way because you don't have to mess with the neck uh, and if you look at some of my previous models sometimes the neck of my model is uh, pretty weird because the head and the, the body uh, doesn't align properly and because I did them separately I'm, there's no way I can align them manually and so because of this the entire model is very ugly uh, on the on the neck area so 
using this method i can actually ensure that the 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 head and the body uh, align properly and they are actually fitting to the to the uh, mesh so say for example the doa mesh like uh, like the recent kasumi and uh, ayane and uh, what happened is that they their neck is actually shorter than the dust neck uh, by half at least okay so um, if you do this with the previous method then you have to adjust the neck separately but uh, using this method you don't have to it's all done uh, through the morph morphing process right so uh, with this I end the tu I'm gonna end the tutorial here for the genesis uh, how to get a, a proper head and body morph uh, so I hope you you learned something and I hope this is useful for you uh, good night and uh, bye bye